Sheesh, look at the G out there, man, saying pretty next to the daily, aka my mom's whip. Do y'all see that? Like, is that not crazy? That's the G right there. Like, I wake up to this every morning and like it will go from right there and it'll like shine all the way over there. Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I actually just got done filming a video yesterday and I edited it last night and I got it uploaded today for you guys. But we're filming a new video today. I'm grinding for y'all. You know, I'm gonna dish out this content for you guys. In today's video, I got a new mod for the G. Uh, it's another suspension mod. I only have two suspension mods. I made a video on uh, the control upper control arms that are adjustable, but I haven't made a video on the uh, coilovers, which I installed last year before I even started YouTube. But yeah, we got two new mods for the G, which is suspension. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and show y'all what it looks like. So here we have it. We got RSR performance box and we got a true heart suspension box. And we got these bolts right here. I'm gonna talk about that later. But here we have ISR adjustable. It's fully adjustable toe arms. These are like really heavy duty or, yeah, they look good. They seem like really high quality and sturdy and stuff like that. And we're gonna have full adjustability for the toe arm. And this is the arm that's gonna replace the spring bucket. Ever since I got my coal overs, I took the spring out of the bucket. So it's just sitting there and we're gonna be replacing it with this. The only ISR part I have currently is the ISR cab bag, and that is really high quality, so this should hold up really good. I really like the ISR brand. And let me move this out the way. In this box right here, you can see the little design. We got true heart suspension, and this is fully adjustable camber arms for the rears. Uh, this is really just a shorter version of what this is. Uh, let me take it out the bubble wrap. I'm telling y'all, like, I got mods just boxed up waiting to get put on the G. It's like a little warehouse I got going on. But yeah, these are fully adjustable toe arm, or not, not toe arms, camber arms that we're going to be putting in. And this is really high quality. I love True Heart products. And the only True Heart mods that I have so far are just the upper control arms, which I made a video on. Those are fully adjustable. And then the other suspension that I have from True Heart is the coilovers. Those are true style coilovers. Those are really good. Never gave me any problems, really. And here's the other one boxed up in the bubble wrap that we're going to be putting on. It shouldn't be too bad of an install. Here we have some lockout eccentric bolts for the adjustability on the camber arms and toe arms so it's two for each and we have like the little plates that made up to the subframe and these bolts literally ran me eighty dollars i never thought i would spend eighty dollars on some freaking bolts these look really good they're from spl i've heard a lot of good things from them and then they gave me a little sticker which i'm probably not going to use i'm not the type of person to really put performance stickers on my car it looks kind of tacky in my opinion really getting the suspension dialed in for the new wheels and stuff like that i literally have the tires right there to my left i'm not going to show y'all because that's going to be in the next video which i'm going to film tomorrow i'm filming like three videos each day no i'm filming like a video each day three days something like that yeah i'm about to put these back in the box and i'm taking them outside jack up the car do everything i got to do I'm gonna see if I can kind of show y'all what I'm talking about right now. Uh, right there, this is the spring bucket that usually has a spring in there when you have stock suspension. And we're gonna be replacing that with the yellow ISR toe arms. And then that right there, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's the camber arm we're about to replace with the true heart. And look at the tire where like, this is really bad, but that stuff will fix this. And the fitment is trash. The coil levers are like kind of high right now. But I don't really care, we're about to get the wheels put on. We got the fenders rolled. So everything's really gonna be prepped for the wheels and should have really good fitment. And I'm gonna show you the other tire. Uh, the wear is not that bad, but y'all can see, kind of see the camber, I think. But it doesn't look like it has a lot of toe, but we'll still be good. And y'all see how like this tire is barely worn compared to this tire, which has like no tread left and it's really bald. But yeah, I gotta move my mom's car out the way. I will give y'all another cold start, but I don't know if y'all ready for that. Got that fat ass muffler right there. Let me get the stuff out of the car again for the second time. And I'm gonna see what I'm gonna start on. Probably the toe arms, they look easier. And don't mind the dirty trunk, man. This janky old jack I'm using. There's always something when you're trying to mod your car or install like a new part. So I've been trying to loosen this lug for like five minutes and it just hasn't come off yet. So I'm probably gonna go to like some tire shop. It's a Sunday. So I don't really know what tire shops are open. All right, so it's like three hours later and look at this, bro. The jack freaking fell and it's like wedged under there. Like what is going on? So first, the looking over here, let me show you. This lug nut right here, 
is completely stripped and the stud is stripped. So I'm gonna have to go to a mechanic and get that drilled out or whatever. And then my boy Cliff came in clutch. And we're gonna get this jacked up with this jack and remove this jack from under. The wheel is finally off and this is what I'm working with. Got the coil over right there, true heart. And this is the bucket with the spring that used, the spring used to be in there that I gotta take off. Uh, looks like I just gotta loosen two bolts or a bow and a nut right here and same at the end and we're gonna be replacing that with the ISO so on right here adjustable we're gonna time lapse this part because I can't really record with one hand and do this so I'm gonna get the GoPro for you guys took the bucket out uh, it was right there and these are the toe bolts I think that's what they're called but yeah this is what you use to adjust the toe with the stock bucket and these are the new SPL eccentric lockout uh, bolts and this is what we're gonna be putting there so they'll be locked in place and we adjust the toe by spanning this right here I might take this out of the packaging and get it put in but this is it outside of the packaging it looks really good I really like the paint on there so all I gotta do really is just spin this middle piece and match it up to the length of the holes right here on the toe bucket. I don't know where my regular tape measure is, so I'm gonna use this to measure the length of the hole and make that the same with the length of the hole for the adjustable toe arm. I've gotta get this toe arm as close to OEM spec as possible. And I also gotta make sure that this amount of thread that's showing is even on each side. The toe arms are fully adjusted straight to spec and the holes are lined up. I can't really get it perfect on camera, but yeah, the holes are pretty much lined up exactly the same. And we just gotta put it on there. We put these two things in, these bearings or whatever they're called. The two arm is finally in there. Got rid of the bucket. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, it took about like 10 minutes to get on, but all the bolts are tightened. And we still gotta do the other side tomorrow because I love that stripped. But I'm gonna move on to the camper arm right here. But this looks really good and we should get the alignment perfect. Okay, this side of the camber arm is dropped, but I can't get this bolt out because of the uh, sway bar. So I'm gonna have to drop that down. I've seen a couple of videos of people saying that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to drop that down and should be good. Dude, it was a struggle to get this camber arm. Like I literally bent this up to get the bolt out and I kind of disconnected this part from the sway bar. But now like, I don't even got my shoe on right now it's crazy but now i'm just get this part the new camber arm and just slide out the box slide out the thing real quick. and this is it i'm gonna just align it with this and once the holes are the same length should be good to install look how sturdy this looks this looks really high quality way better than stock and it shouldn't let me down because it's true heart now I got the true hard coilovers and they've been really solid. Now the camber arms are fully adjusted back to spec. As the, the holes are like perfectly lined up. Perfect, pretty much. And I just gotta tighten these. They have the same amount of thread on each side, so that's perfect. And I just gotta tighten these two and I'll get them put on. And we'll see how it looks. Look at the uh, ISR toe arm, looks hard. Oh my God, look at my suspension, bro. This is so tough. And the colors look real nice. The camber arm was kind of a pain to put on, but it's on there nice. And I accidentally put the new eccentric bolt on here, so I'm gonna have to take this off and put back the old bolt right here. So if you're doing this, make sure you don't put the eccentric bolt because you're gonna need this one and the other one that's still in the box, wherever it is. The other one that's still in the box, you're gonna need on the other side. But yeah, it looks so good. The True Heart camber arm matches with the True Heart coilovers. This is the only thing that doesn't match, but the color still looks nice. I almost forgot, I gotta put this sway bar thing back on and get that tightened up. I'm done fixing everything. I got the original bolt in here instead of the eccentric bolt, the lockout eccentric bolt. Uh, that's what the eccentric thing looks like in there. So it's like locked in place with that square washer. We got the original bolt in this one. And that looks really good. Everything is tightened down with the eccentric washer right there. And we got the coilovers, which I didn't do anything to. But in the next video, we'll be adjusting those for the perfect right height or some good right height, whatever. Let me get a better angle for you. That's how the suspension looks. 
it's basically full built suspension except for like the traction arms but i'm not really, i don't really have any problems with those so i don't really need those but i'll end up i'll probably end up copying those in the future that's how it sits that's how it looks and i still have the other side to do but like i said earlier this this thing is giving me problems like it's just spinning bro the uh, actual stud is stripped so i gotta get that drilled out i'm gonna take it to a mechanic tomorrow and this should be an easy install for this side since i already know what to do the tow bucket is out i can't really remember if it was hard to take it out on the other side but it was really easy to take it out on this side and i'm starting to notice that the new stud is like starting to strip like you can see how it's like wearing down and this is really brand new i got it replaced yesterday i'm not too sure if it was this one it might have been these two but this one's relatively new and it's starting to strip and i'm starting to think that it's my lug nuts that are the problem i'm not too sure because this literally was replaced probably a few months ago but besides that here's the new isr tow arm i've already adjusted it uh to the specific length it's supposed to be and it has the same amount of threads on each side so i'm just gonna get this put in and next i'll do the camber arm after some twisting and bending the camber arm is finally out and i got it out without removing the sway bar i could have moved the sway bar regardless because i stripped the bolt right here the true heart camber arm is all dialed in with the threads all the same as i got to get it in with the eccentric bolts looks really good the camber arms in timed everything down the tow arms in, I timed everything down all that's left is the wheels and the alignment and the suspension should be really a1 here's the old and then there's a new old new I really don't know what to say I want to test drive the car but I really can't do too much because I don't have an alignment but yeah it looks really good this is what the eccentric bolt and plate look like in there to lock out the, any adjustments right here so this shouldn't move so the point of this really is to transfer the adjustment from here by twisting the bolt to here so these two just got to be loosened and the alignment person would just twist this to adjust the alignment let me move these out the way and i'm gonna put the wheel back on and see if i can see the new suspension from the back oh yeah the car is dropped and you can kind of see it but no one's gonna be down here for real you can't really see it on this side because we got the evap box right there i think that's the evap box overall it wasn't really too hard to get these put on and they look really good probably said that like a million times in this video i'm looking you swim bro it's almost 90 degrees but yeah that's it for this video if y'all enjoyed make sure y'all subscribe in the next video we should be getting the wheels and tires mounted and we'll get the quills down in perfect ride height and it should look really good y'all stay tuned in with the post notification bell and i'll see y'all in the next video Thank you.